Technician775 here. Uh, tonight I'm going to be showing you how I take and package up corn, wheat, uh, just about wheat berries, uh, just about anything, rice, beans, etc. Uh, anything that's dry in five gallon buckets. Uh, we have a place here locally that's a restaurant supply place and they pick up uh, used or uh, used pickle buckets and they resell them for about two dollars a piece. You can also get buckets from online for US plastics and again I don't work for US plastics and it is other people I, I'm an aircraft mechanic anyways uh, you can pick them up um, US plastics and what I try to do as much as possible is get a lid to match the contents like I'm gonna be doing corn uh, corn yellow yellow lid and that's real easy alright let's get started first off we're gonna to have to have a mylar bag I buy from Impact Corporation, uh, Los Angeles, California. I uh, get the eight mil, I think a seven and a half, eight mil food grade mylar bags, and they are. There's an internet special you can click on it. And I want to say well, when I bought these about a year or so ago, maybe a year and some change ago, um, it was a hundred bags for two hundred fifty dollars. They're about two dollars and fifty cents a piece. But it's not the cheap junk that there's. And my apologies to anybody that's selling on eBay. It's not the the three and four mil bags uh, that they're selling on eBay. Specifically, look for a thicker bag, uh, just for a few dollars more. It's cheap insurance. And again, these are pretty thick. Um, and okay, um, the buckets have been washed out. They were they were they had pickles in them before. You get just a little bit of a pickle smell to them, which is really not bad. Okay, and the lids, I, I, when I do this, I will do some five gallon buckets without the mylar. Uh, I'll just put straight corn in there, throw some oxygen absorbers, and snap a brand new lid on. I use about a uh, five pound uh, dead blow hammer, which if you can see, okay, it's got shot in it, like uh, shotgun shells, and it's what they call a dead blow. It doesn't actually pop back on you, it's not steel. It's uh, some kind of space age uh, rubber plastic coating, and um, uh, I use that because it basically, when it hits, it doesn't bounce back. Okay, uh, right here you're gonna see a, a bucket that I actually cut uh, the top off, and if I had to do it all over again, I'd probably cut it a little bit lower, maybe uh, half a, a bucket right here. And what this is right here. And you'll see some holes in the bottom. I drilled four holes. Okay, nothing special about the bucket. It's just a bucket and a couple of screws to keep the handle from twisting around. I will take the my, I guess you could say pre-farmer, and put it inside the Mylar bag. Okay, that way it opens it up to the size of a bucket. A lot of people will just take a Mylar bag and crinch and cringle and this and that. And I don't like fooling with Mylar more than I have to because each crease, crease is a uh, accident waiting to happen for us for letting uh, air in. Some people say, "Are oh, you full of it?" Um, I just err on the safe side because if things get as bad as what we're preparing for, uh, we'll need it, and uh, you'll be glad that you uh, had uh, spent just a couple extra dollars on a decent mylar bag and, and moved it as few as as little as possible. Okay, with corn and wheat and some of the other th uh, things that, and beans that you can actually have a bug of some sort uh, germinate inside there even with the oxygen absorbers it gets most of the oxygen out not arbor not all of it we use a diatomaceous earth let me see if i can get this sorry for the camera jumping up and down all over the place um, we made the labels it was called a d earth it's food grade freshwater organic diatomaceous earth uh, let me see here if you can okay i'll let you take in I'll try not to move it around too much. Okay. Um, would use it. What they claim with that, if you put that in, in with, whoops, okay. Who was that? That was one of my cats. Alrighty. They say if you put that in with your grains, if any of the uh, bugs or eggs germinate uh, and uh, pop open the larvae, uh, the diatomaceous are so like glass and it will kill the larvae and you won't have a uh, bucket full of weevils sitting there fat, dumb, and happy when you go to open it when you need it. Uh, and, and naturally, of course, we have the uh, oxygen absorbers. Uh, one thing also, too, and you can see the old man cave here, the can sealer is gone. Okay, a gentleman picked it up uh, locally here, and I still have access to it, but that's a good thing. Okay, you'll see a tube with a piece of uh, 
copper uh, tubing at the end here um, oh I don't know what size that is I never was a good judge of stuff like that but anyway it's copper tubing and if we look up underneath the table here you can't really see that much but this is a vacuum pump that I purchased at Harbor Freight and along with the foot switch uh, the vacuum pump with a modified filter to catch any debris that may go into the vacuum pump um, and what I do with that whenever I'm doing the mylar bags uh, hey snowball ask my cat snowball when the mylar bags evacuate as much uh, as I possibly can then seal it then the oxygen absorbers take over from there and anything that I uh, that I've missed and also you will need a iron set on the wool setting if you look on in impact I M P A K impact corporation Ella, los angeles they sell the mylar bags if you look on their site they will tell you to take just a regular iron if you don't have the span uh, spiff to do fancy um sealer just take a regular iron on the wool setting and it does work quite well and also too you see i have a it's a one by four board just elevated just a smidge it up off of the table here and and you'll see how that'll play come into play hey pup what are you doing, Klutzy? I asked my German Shepherd. Okay, she wants to play ball. Anyways, I'm going to get everything set up, and we'll be back with uh, the rest of the video. Okay, we're back again. I'm going to try to take and stay out of this video as much as possible. I'm like Wilson. Uh, I really don't want to show my face. I'm ugly enough. I don't need to, you know, to, to prove it. Anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take and grab the Mylar bag and put my preformer in there, my half of a uh, bucket and show you what I do with it. I just kind of want to get this where and I've been working in the yard all day long so you have to kind of bear with me if you see uh, a little bit of a dirty shirt. Okay we take this and I slip this in there just like that. Now you see how I haven't done this in a while so I may have three thumbs trying to get this completed done like I want it. Okay I get it down as far as I can possibly get it where it's good all the way to the bottom like this okay and then and if you remember I have my little tape dispenser here I'll take this and fold this ear under okay a little bit of tape tape that ear down and fold this ear under as well and tape it down just like the other one as best I can it doesn't really take much and it doesn't have to be super special as long as you want to just want to kind of get it to where it's it's uh you know and then push it down on the ground okay and it's pretty much just about flat <sighs> make sure we don't have any dirt there okay then we'll take one of our buckets and we'll set the whole thing inside of the bucket like this and you may have to do a little bit of finagling to get it down in there but it will go in the bucket and make a nice preformed instead of having to push all in okay and you just hold on to the, the to the mylar bag and just slowly pull this out and the holes at the bottom of this right here lets the air out where you don't have a suction pretty simple after doing quite a few of these and arguing and wrestling with them it's like okay let me try something different all right and as you can see this is pretty much almost straight down where you have an easy shot for the most part of uh, instead of having wrinkled uh, mylar and you really haven't done that much to the mylar uh, yet so what I'm going to do at this time set this down uh oh sounds like my uh, cell phone's going off okay we're back uh, that was my boss uh, harassing me on the phone you know works never done anyways uh i buy my corn f a couple of different places for the most part though tractor supply again again i don't work for those guys and it's produces pride corns whole corn okay and it is aflatoxin tested a f l a i think that's how you that's how you say it uh, that's how it's spelled um you can probably look on the back here somewhere uh, but I've got another bag of record rack or trophy rack, whatever, and it's a and it's tested as as well. And you want to make sure any corn that you put away is tested for the uh, for the toxins. Uh, it's not a good thing if you don't. Okay, using one of my uh, trusty uh, scoops I picked up from the restaurant supply, uh, my diatomaceous earth. I put uh, a couple of scoops down at the very bottom, a couple of scoops right about in the middle, and a couple of scoops uh, on top, as you can see. 
it is in there. And I fill the bucket up to about right here. Um, just maybe, uh, oh, I don't know, um, up to about right there on, on your finger, you know. Hey, number four. Anyways, it's chasing bugs tonight, and the bugs are out. Okay, uh, probably what uh, three inches there from the uh, from the top, maybe three, maybe four inches. And what I'll do, I'll pick the uh, the bucket up and down, and uh, you know, kind of tap it down like we did the uh, number ten cans there, just get the corn to settle and everything else. Then I'll take a moist towel, not wet but just moist, and wipe the inside where we're gonna actually gonna take and seal it. Because uh, you want to get all of the diatomaceous earth and anything else off there, so we'll make a really good seal. Okay, so I'm going to put this on hold again, and I'll be back. Okay, what I'm going to do is rearrange things just a little here. It's been a little bit since I've done this. Okay, the corn's unsettled. Alrighty, we'll get about uh, seven oxygen absorbers and put in here. And the reason we use seven is these are 300 cc's a piece and they tell you to put about a 2,000 cc oxygen absorber in a five gallon bucket. So we'll have, uh, uh, and if you want to put eight, put eight, geez, don't worry about it. There's nothing gonna, you know, nothing says you can't put more if you want, just to make sure. One, two, three, six, and seven. I put eight, the heck. Okay, and it should seal up on its own here. In just a just a few minutes, you'll hear the you'll hear the pop pop down. Maybe in a few minutes. Okay, now the fun part's going to come in. What I normally do is take my trusty hammer and our two by four, and I kind of prop the bottom of the bucket up just a smidgen. Okay, uh, dirty towel. All right, it's moist. It's not wet, and just wipe the wipe the insides down just like that because you don't want any of the the powder to take in and negate your seal in any, in any direction anyways at one time so alrighty let me see if I can get better a little bit better set up like I said it's been a while since I've done this so bear with me okay what we're gonna do first off is pull this pretty much tight across the top like this where there's actually there's no kinks in it and it's a smooth crease all the way across and if I can get this a little bit closer maybe a little bit better uh, not much but we got a little bit more okay and we're going to take our iron oxygen absorbers are in there and just crease the edge for right now which will make a really good seal almost all the way to the end put your finger where right there and you'll make a good crease several times and it's been on wool setting for a good five to ten minutes okay and then to kind of just roll it over just a smidgen like this and you'll get a uh oh I think I went too far I guess I'll we'll find out here in a minute when I can't get the, the tube in there and if that's the case if you don't have a vacuum thing go ahead and do this and get as much air as you can out possibly get out out of it and the oxygen absorbers will do the rest okay so what we're gonna do here all right, we got a good seal. This is going to go just about, this is just about perfect. Okay, so what I want to do is put my hand on here and kind of roll it over to the side just a little bit and hit the pump. And, okay, you can, you can hear when the, and I, what I'll do is take and just roll it just a, just a little bit and you'll see the air starting to come out of the, out of the bag. It's not a super fast process, but it will, and I don't know if you can see this very well. Wish I had my lovely assistant, but I don't. Alrighty. Also do this with a vacuum cleaner, just a, uh, a 10, 12, uh, 15 dollar vacuum cleaner from uh, Lowe's or any one of the other places. Okay, after you get it, it's, it's going to go 
I guess it would help if I keep my foot on the foot switch. It'll just gonna keep vacuum. It's gonna keep pulling it down. And you've seen some of the other videos where, where people has actually used this, you know, to uh, pull the vacuum. And like I said, I'm a little rusty at this, so you have to kind of bear with me. This pull a pretty good vacuum, so what I'll do, I'll just pull this as much as I can, keep it clipped down with my finger, and seal the rest of the way like that because you will see where it will actually pick up the other portion of the seal right there, and you've got a pretty good seal. And then what I'll do again is come back, ooh, this is warm, come back and just do a secondary seal just to make sure and then across the top Ooh, that is warm I kind of look like Ned at his first reading doing this but I've done quite a few of them like this and after it's like riding a bicycle I guess you get the hang of it again but for the most part, you put a secondary seal. And you can take a phone book or just something else and put up underneath the bucket to raise it up to be able to think and make a better seal as well. Okay, I can take a couple of the lids and do the same thing. Raise it up, just a scotch. Oh yeah, there we go. And then I can make another seal. I like making the sharp edge seals like this versus the the one all across the top at first, it seems to do a lot better for whatever reason. And again, that is a wool setting. Some guys use different things. Oh, okay. Some guys use a uh, a round uh, uh, round piece of uh, wood. Okay, so we can take. out of the way and actually just gently fold this over and down like that I hope you can see that just gently and I probably could could have put just a little bit more corn in there now let me see if you can see okay I just took and gently folded it over and down I'll write the date right across here and tomorrow this will be hard as a rock uh, and I normally do not seal them when I'm doing the mylar bags until the next day because I want to make sure that everything is actually sealed up like it's supposed to be. Okay, this is Technician 775, and we're going to be back with the uh, second part of this video right here doing just the corn without the mylar bags. Okay, we're back. I guess I pressed the wrong button earlier and I uh, lost the. Uh, a segment of me uh, filling the bucket up with no mylar uh, using the uh, record rack corn. I wasn't real impressed with record rack. I'm not going to go step on these people or bad mouth them or anything, but this particular bag right here had a lot of cob in it and had a lot of uh, leaves and other undesirable stuff that you really don't want, especially for being a double cleaned uh, corn. Uh, the produce, Producers Pride, which is a product of Tractor Supply, on the back of the bag. It does have right here where it is double cleaned and alpha toxin tested. Um, some people have a concern about eating uh, animal feed, uh, the corn, but from what I understand, talking to some of the old, older men who run a uh, meal, uh, it's in the storage. Uh, basically, the corn comes off uh, and goes in one bag for one guy and one bag for the other guys. Maybe some of you corn producers can uh, educate us. Be more than glad to take and listen to what you guys have to say. But a lot of the old people have been eating the whole corn like this and grinding it for some time with no ill effects. That's what I'm going to do. I can't tell you what to do or what not to do. I'm just showing you how I package mine. Okay, with that said, I went in and packaged the corn in this five gallon bucket here. Uh, no, I have to make sure earth at the bottom 
and I need to get going because my oxygen absorbers have been in here for a bit and they're just barely starting to get warm. So, but anyways, uh, 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 diatomaceous earth and three spots on the top, middle and the bottom and eight oxygen absorbers. And what I'm going to do is try to set this down where I can show you how I seal the lid on this. So you're going to have to excuse a little bit of the bobbling going on around with the, with the camera and hopefully it keeps recording. Okay, you put the lid on, take the old dead blow hammer and I do a star pattern. I kind of hold my hand down in the middle. One spot, two spots, three spots, and four and five. And just go all the way around. And it is sealed. Okay, not a whole much, not much more to it than that. And it is sealed and you can actually take a look a little bit later on and you'll see the black o-ring uh, when it's daylight translucent through here where it's sealed i'm gonna go ahead and hit it a few more times but that's about it that's how i seal my corn and i'll also put a label on the outside and the date and if y'all have any questions as usual please don't don't hesitate to contact again technician 775 um, thank you very much for watching the videos and if we can help out in any way please let us know 775 signing off.